Hey everyone, this is kind of a quick unboxing or more of a first impressions about um, the robotic system called ClickBot. It's really, really good packaging, like pretty sturdy box. Um, so you open it up, but the first thing you see is kind of an easy to understand um, setup there. It says, let's start your journey with ClickBot. Welcome to the ClickBot universe. So not sure where to begin, try building back. Okay, so this looks like this is the head or the brain of ClickBot. Um, these like spherical pieces, I guess, are the joints. And if you turn them, you can hear the the little like servo inside. And each of these, if you could see, um, have these like connectors. Inter they look like they're interlocking connectors with some with some like terminals on them. So <clears throat> it says to take out four joints in a skeleton piece. So they gave me this other thing in there, which is it looks like it's three joints that are already connected. Um, so now I need to just, so this thing comes off now and there's another layer, another box in there. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the box. Um, so this loose, these loose items were in this first um, kind of foam protected layer. And this is um, really high quality. And, but with the boxes now I can see what each of these parts, what these parts are. So. These are, so you get essentially, there's four box joints um, plus four more that were, were loose in that top layer. These are the skeleton, so you get four of these and then a fifth that, that came in that top layer. Um, these two are distance sensors and um, these are, this is called a smart foot, so there's two, two feet, um, and then these are suction cups. So there's two suction cups, and then it looks like there's two wheels that were in that top layer, and then one boxed wheel, and then this is the gripper. So I hope you can notice that the packaging is really high quality. Each of these individual boxes looks looks really high quality. So I'm not sure, since I ordered the full kit, I can't compare it with just like the standard kit. I'm not sure what were the extra. I think the the gripper was, was part of the full kit, as were the um, the suction cups. But I'm not sure how many of these joints and skeletons you'd get with just like the standard kit. Okay, so I've downloaded the app. It's got kind of this little cartoon playing. So I'll skip that. So I'm just going through the app and going through this registration process. It's a little, the menus are a little bit annoying. Okay, so one thing is the app has uh, has some built-in videos which are pretty good. They're just part of the app, so. Okay, so to put these together, I thought it was more of a twisting action, but it's actually a little bit more of a push. Okay, so that's on there. Okay, and then to take two joints apart, it's literally more of a pull. So I see it's not really a twisting motion, but you do line up these kind of bigger tabbed areas with the smaller air tabbed areas so you would line up like that uh, and then they would click in like that okay so now I have um, let's see I have at least two joints one skeleton three joints and one skeleton now I'm gonna connect the brain so that's easy. It gets easier once you get the hang of clicking them together. I'm going to take this 
protector off. Okay, so it looks like it's connected to my Wi-Fi, and it looks like it did one update. So this is what the brain looks like. Okay, so I feel like it's going a little bit crazy. It's still looking up, but if I disassemble it and I change the orientation on this joint, it keeps telling me it's wrong. So I'm probably doing something really stupid. Either that or it's... <clears throat> it might be assuming that the... Uh, so I'm not sure if it's assuming that the mount is on the desk this way. Um, either way, it's very strange. It's it's definitely with these, um, you know, like spherical joints. It has definitely more of an organic feel as a robot. Um, but it. It's definitely strange the way that it's um, just thinks that that's the right orientation there. So it looks like it's heads backwards, but when I switch it to this one, it just tells me that it's wrong. So okay, now it's mad. Um, So it doesn't think this is correct. It's complaining. This actually looks more correct to me. And it's not happy. But now it's, it looks like it's actually accepting it though. And so I don't know what to say. It's very interesting. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this video here because this guy's going a little bit crazy. Um, so my first impressions, uh, the shipping, the boxes, everything was really high quality. Um, the app, I wasn't too impressed with. Uh, it had some of the same issues, you know, where the connection part is kind of confusing or the, the Wi-Fi connection doesn't work. Um, I would say that the part that the robot knows how to build different configurations and it's built in. Uh, let me actually turn this guy off for a second. First of all, the the shipping, the packaging and everything is very professional. Um, it's really high quality. Someday we maybe we'll see an Apple robot that looks like this. But, you know, it's at that level. Um, I would say the idea of just... All this is totally new to me, these um, these ball joints. Um, and the connecting them is, it's not difficult, but it's it's not 100% intuitive. I'm, it's supposed to be foolproof, but it actually, you know, it took me a while to get the hang of it. Like I said, the easiest way is there's these um, kind of terminals, gold connectors, gold-plated connectors. And if you line those up, um, and then you try to snap it together. Then it kind of just snaps together. But, you know, that took me a few minutes to get used to. Pulling them apart, you just kind of have to have a good grip on both. And just kind of be careful. My biggest fear, like I said, would be breaking off of tab. So far that hasn't happened yet. Um, so the app, that was the least impressive thing was the app. It just didn't look... Um, you know, I just had typical problems, the registration, you know, forced you to kind of create an account and register right away, which is typical, but it's kind of annoying. And then um, also just connecting to the Wi-Fi, typical issue where I connected my phone to the Wi-Fi. It gave me a QR code to scan. I did that with the robot. That connected the robot, but then when I'm now when I'm trying to connect the app to the robot, it's saying that there's a connection problem or not connected. So that's typical for, you know, for these, um, you know, a lot of these types of robots and, and toys and products. So it's typical annoying, you know, connection issues. Um, actually building the robot, it was kind of great that it has the instructions 
inside the robot to tell you how to build it actually shows you which step you're on, which piece to connect. The joint actually flashes a light that you're supposed to connect to the next joint. Um, and then it tells you if its orientation is wrong. That was pretty amazing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I upgraded to a new Sony RX02 for these videos. And I still have the Misty 2 robot and several other robot kits I haven't built yet. So hopefully I'll, I'll be having more content soon.